enchanting. Um, so many people love Sense and Sensibility, Sheldon. Yes. And in Amarillo, we are bringing the beautiful play. Uh, Sterling is here playing the part of Mary Ann. Carrie, you're directing yes. this show. Yes. First, I want to start with you. T t <clears throat> tell us why Sense and Sensibility? Well, the Jane Austen fans are loyal. They are loyal, and uh, every time there's a new adaptation, we go to see it, we, we Jane Austen fans. So uh, the Little Theater decided to put on this, produce this play and uh, do it at the adventure space because it's more intimate there. Oh, good. So yeah. we have less seats, but um, the people that will see it will get a really great view of everything and oh, be right be in the good. middle of the action. So, so tell us a little bit about that. You said, you know, yourself being a Jane Austen fan and everything. So, I mean, from your perspective, getting to direct one of these adaptations of it, I mean, what, the, what is that like for you getting to, you know, lead the charge on this kind of show? Oh, it's the best nerdy kind of thing <laughs> ever. <clears throat> I've, I've uh, been a Jane Austen fan since I was probably Sterling's age. Mm -hmm. I've read all of her books. And e even though they were written in the late 1700s, uh, they are still timely today. They have the, the, we have the same relationship problems, the same uh, interpersonal whatever. Um, but I love that. I think you're right. I think that is something that people can really be like, I, I understand that. That's mm -hmm. something that I go through. Right. And I think that's, that's important. Sure. For not just being, you know, staring off in space, being like good. Mm -hmm. uh, but nothing that y'all do at ALT is like that. Sterling, tell me about Marianne. Tell me about the character. Uh, she's kind of she's kind of crazy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> her whole thing is that like she's the sensibility of sense and sensibility, and so um, she is pretty much the complete opposite of Eleanor. Where Eleanor's whole thing is that like she doesn't let anyone know what she's feeling, and she doesn't show it on her face. She's a really good poker face, and uh, Marianne doesn't have that like at all. She can't do that at all, and uh, I think that despite her best efforts she can't control her face and so everyone knows what she's thinking all the time <laughs> sure. uh, which I think I relate to uh, <laughs> I think we could all relate to that in some, to some degree but I definitely um, relate to her in that where it's like sometimes I'll just be sitting there and I'll be like oh fix your face uh, you are making a face right now <laughs> Um, I love yeah. that listen I, I've never I need to remember that probably <laughs> uh, in my life Tell us about your real life, and, and are you a student, and, and what do you, yeah, what do, uh, you do? I'm a, th a, th I'm a theater major at West Texas A&M University. I am actually a double major. I'm majoring in musical theater and design technology, so that's always fun, you know. Um, I'm always super busy. <laughs> um, right. Yeah, but um, yeah, so I, I, do, I do like the performance stuff, and then I also do the backstage tech stuff. Like oh, I've, good. Yeah, I, I, I do. I paint, I've done electrics before and stuff like that, so. I think that's important to, to be well-rounded and be able to do yes. whatever job at this stage. I mean, that really, we know that in our business even, right. if you know every single job, I mean, it just makes you better. Mm -hmm. And I love, I think WT has such talent and you're, you're gonna they do. A, they have a great program there. That's, great listen, program. I've heard that so much. Mm -hmm. Carrie, what is it for you to, to direct? Um, is this something that you said, hey, I have a passion for? Tell us a little bit about your... Uh, well, I've, I've been teaching at ALT, teaching theater for 26 years, teaching at ALT for 22. Oh, wow. And so I've always directed in class, um, but directing plays is a new thing that I've been doing, especially for adults. Mm -hmm. um, I've directed kids for a, a, a long time. So gotcha. this is, uh, in the last few years, this is my foray into directing adults. Oh, neat. So tell Good. us a little bit, like you said, you're, you're gonna be doing this in more of an intimate space. So tell people the when and where, what they need to know about this show and where they can get tickets to come see it. Well, we are sold out. Sold out, <laughs> all right. But uh, we added one Saturday matinee this Saturday. Perfect at 2.30, so you can still call the theater okay. at 355-9991 and get tickets for that or go online to the emeriltheater.org to buy your tickets. So one more show go is all get that's on and get left. Those tickets then. Yes. That's right. so good. What, what, we know this summer uh, kids are out of school, have a chance 
to, to be with ALT if they want to. Absolutely. The academy and, and different, is that started up for signups and things? Not yet. The, the summer schedule will come out in May and we'll have camps for kids of all ages. Okay. Yes. Well, we look forward to it. Yeah. Sterling, good luck to you. Thank you. Can't wait. And Carrie, I love it. Girl power. <laughs> Getting in there. I mean, I love that. Yes. And I think this is going to be a great show for so many. Yes. So thank y'all for coming. Please come back. Oh, thank and, you. Uh, we will. Uh, next time I'll have my voice. <laughs> for sure. <laughs>